The display of posters and a banner proclaiming that Jesus Christ had returned. Rags is not a Christian group. Its leader advocates spiritual practice. But he's also a person who says he has first-hand experience of the return of Jesus. He's Riaz Ahmed Shahi. He's with me now, along with his personal assistant, Mr. Zafar Hussein, who will translate for us. Good morning to you both, gentlemen. Oh, good morning. Oh, good morning. Now, first of all, can I ask you, Mr. Shahi, through Mr. Hussein, what were the circumstances in which you say you met Jesus? I was in Taos, in New Mexico, mm. and I was in a hotel, mm. and it was during the night. And just before I was go going to sleep, some person came into my room, and I first thought that it was one of my staff. I asked, uh, who are you? And the person said, I have come to see you. And then I turned the light on and saw that there was a handsome young man standing before me. Through my spiritual experience uh, in the past, I understood that if it was something from Satan or something false, then I would feel afraid. And um, But because I felt great happiness inside my body and through other spiritual means, I was able to see that it was something of a, a great spiritual experience. So this wasn't in fact a physical body that, that you saw, Mr. Um, Shahi? I mean, yeah, there wasn't a waiter or anybody like that coming in? Uh, this was a physical meeting with Jesus. Because when I opened my eyes, I saw this handsome young man mm -hmm. and I spoke to him and he spoke to me. But how did he know it's Jesus? I felt um, intense energy and I at the same time felt that it was an immense spiritual personality that was standing before me. I asked him and he said, I am Jesus, son of Mary. I asked him where he lived and he said, I had no home in the past and I have no home now. And he said to me that I've been here for a long time and just as you are preparing people for the love of God and cleansing them and purifying them, in a the similar way I am doing this work also. And I asked him whether you also appear before uh, priests and uh, uh, fathers in the Christian faith and he replied that um, I do not do that because they lack spirituality and spiritual power therefore I, they are unable to see me or communicate with me. And he said that there are some people amongst the Christians who have learned spirituality who have become enlightened and purified and I do communicate with them and have some uh, contact with them. And he also said that uh, there are such people amongst the Christians uh, whom I have given some of the spiritual power to. Therefore, they are able to carry out my work in Sri Lanka and in Thailand or such places. And, and such people will actually testify and bear witness that I am Jesus and therefore people will then accept that I am Jesus when I, am, uh, I appear. Mr. Shahi, you're speaking through an interpreter at the moment. What language was Jesus speaking? Jesus spoke to me in Urdu and I asked him and he said that I uh, can speak all languages. Why did he choose you then to, to, to appear to Mr. Shahi and what was his message to you? He said that he was going to be able to see you and he was going to be able to see you. He was going to be able to see you and he was going to be able to see you and he was going to be able to see you. He said to me that 
I do similar work, just as you are doing, uh, teaching people about spiritual knowledge, spirituality, and uh, teaching them about inner enlightenment and purification, and one day will come when we will both work together. Now, your posters say that you're going to deliver an unprecedented address broadcast to the world after the Pope's made a global radio broadcast in October or November. I didn't know the Pope was making a, a global radio broadcast. I said that you have written in the year that you have written in the year that you have written in the year that the Pope has written in the year that the Pope has written in the year. So, what do you think about this? I said that I didn't know that the Pope will also write in the year that the Pope has written in the year. It will be regarding the second coming of Jesus, and the Pope does know regarding the second coming of Jesus. And the Pope will make this broadcast in uh, October, you say? Pope, who will write in October in this year? When he will do it, he will write in his own book. After that, he will write in his own book, and he will write in his own book. And the Pope, and the Pope is uh, scheduled to speak to the world in October, but whenever he does speak, he will address the Christians. After the Pope has addressed the Christians, I will then address the Muslims, and it will be regarding the same subject. How do, how, how do you, many of your, your followers, I believe, are Muslim by birth, but uh, how are you accepted by non-believers who are Muslims and follow the Muslim religion? You are many people who are Pedashi Muslim, but those who are not Muslim, how do you get to them and how do you get to them? They teach them from their hearts, when they teach Allah, they teach them from Allah, they teach them from their hearts. Yes, so we, we teach them about the knowledge of spirituality. Hmm. And when their heart beats uh, through our teachings are converted into reciting the name Allah, Allah, the name of God, then they follow us and when they see the, uh, the, the physical and the spiritual truths, when they experience something. But some don't follow because somebody firebombed your church. You can say this too. لیکن کچھ لوگ آپ کو نہیں بھی مانتے کیونکہ انہوں نے آپ پر پیٹرل بم پھینکا آپ کی بلڈنگ کو نقصان پچھا ہے یہ دو طاقتے ہیں نا ایسا ہر مذہب میں ہوتی ہیں نا کوئی مانتا ہے کوئی نہیں مانتا ہے There are two powers, there are the truth and the falsehood some believe and some don't believe Do you have a photograph of Jesus? Is that the one I have seen on on posters? یہ جو تصویر ہے پوسٹر کے اوپر یہ عیسیٰ علیہ السلام کی ہے وہ بالکل عیسیٰ علیہ السلام کی ہے وہ اور تھوڑی سے اور بات کر لوں یہ سکر پھر اس کے بعد جب میں توسن میں گیا نا تو وہاں ایک اور کے پاس پر تصویر دیتا سکر آئی that is the true image of Jesus and when I left Taos I went to Tucson in Arizona and I saw a lady there and she had a photograph تو پھر میں اس تصویر کو پہچان گیا تو یہ تو وہی شخص ہے جو مجھے ہوتل میں ملا تھا سکر آئی دا ریکنائز دا فوٹوگراف as being the same person that I met in the hotel that night پھر جہاں کے اوپر کچھ چیرے ہیں ایک چیرہ Jesus ka bhi hai, us se woh tasweer milti hai. And there are some images presently on the moon, and that photograph actually matches one of the images on the moon, and which belongs to Jesus. How do you mean image on the moon? Kya matlab aapko ke chand par tasweer hai? Haan, toh hai, wo hum dikhati hai na, Allah. Amar paas hai, log unko dikhaiye, Jesus hai. Yes, there are images on the moon, and we show people, look at the image on the moon, look at the photographs of the moon, and this particular image that we refer to is the image of Jesus, which matches the photograph. Might this not just be a sophisticated hoax that, uh, Mr. Shahi, you may in fact have been hoaxed when you were in New Mexico? Yeah, this is not a joke, it can be a shame that in Mexico you have been hurt in Mexico, that Salah Salaam 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 और चांद के ऊपर भी धोखा नहीं हो सकता तो जो तस्वीर हमने देखी है वो जहाँ से मिलती चांद से मिलती हमने वही देखी उस पर भी धोखा नहीं होता दिस कैनॉट बी फॉल्स दिस कैनॉट बी अ होक्स इन लाइट ऑफ माय स्पिरिचुअल एक्सपीरियंस एंड पावर एंड इन लाइट ऑफ व्हाट इज ऑन द मून एंड पर्टिकुलरली इन یہ جو تصویر اس عورت کے پاس تھی انہوں نے کہاں سے تصویر لے کے آئے تھے اس نے کہا تھا کہ ہمارے کچھ آبی مقدس مقامات میں گئے تھے تو یہ تصویر نہیں تھی اس میں یہ تصویر بھی آگی حالانکہ انہوں نے کیامرے میں تحقیق نہیں تھی This lady in Tucson I asked her about the origins of the photograph and she said that some of my friends went to some sacred places in a part of the world and they took photographs of these sacred places and when the film was developed this image emerged from the prints and yet this person was not seen and nor was he photographed اس سے پہلے بھی ہم نے ایک رسالے میں دیکھا تھا اس میں بھی امریکہ میں لکھا ہوا تھا یہ آدمی آتا ہے سبتالوں میں دم غرق کرتا ہے لوگ ٹھیک ہو جاتے ہیں تو کسی میں وہ تصویر بھی لے لی تھی وہ بھی اس سے ملتی تھی in addition we also saw in another magazine prior to speaking to this lady there was a similar image of this man and the report was from the United States that this man is seen in hospitals he cures incurable patients 
And another photograph was taken by somebody of this person. And it matched. We have to leave it there, but thank you, Mr. Shahi. Thank you for translating for us, Mr. Hussein. Thank you. You're much. listening to uh, BBC JMR 95.1 or 104.6 FM. This is Sunday Breakfast. I'm Mike Kitty. The time now, 29 minutes.